today is finding the velocity of a bullet by firing it into a block of wood with a known mass. We used two guns, a 22 rifle, and a Mosin Nagant. Each gun was fired into five blocks of wood. Do not try this at home. It was done under professional supervision. This is the standard 22 long rifle bullet. It is .0026 kilograms in mass and was the first bullet shot. Here we go, just take it. Russian Mosin Nagant 7.62 by 54R 11.79 gram bullet. This is the larger of the two and the second one that was shot. Velocity of both the 22 long rifle and the Moisin Nagant 7.62 by 54 RM. First, we're going to start out with the 22 long rifle and what we did with the ballistic pendulum to figure out the initial velocity of the projectile. Uh, first of all, we used this equation right here and plugged in all the things that we knew. Um, and what we were trying to find out through our test was the height that the, uh, that the block of wood would swing so that we could calculate for the initial velocity of the projectile. So we plugged in the mass of the 22 caliber bullet the mass of our 8 pound log and then we, uh, we had 2 times little g which is 9.8 um, times 0 0.05 meters which is the distance that the block of wood sw uh, swaying from the 22 long rifle bullet and when we solved all that out we got a velocity of 1,382.63 feet per second which is about 100 feet per second higher than what a standard 22 long rifle velocity should be Russian Moisin Nagant 7.62 by 54 R around, and we used a 11.7 gram bullet as you can see here, just like previous, like we did previously, we just plugged in our nodes into our equation. 11.7 grams for the bullet, uh, mass of the log, and then this bullet was actually so powerful that it made the pendulum swing 3 meters, and that came out to around 2,385.2 feet per second, which is actually only uh, 205 feet per second under what the standard round should have been. So again, uh, some ways that we could have refined this is to do more test trials rather than rather than just do five trials. We could have done 10, 15, 20. This would have really made our numbers more precise and also made sure that the pendulum was more secure. That way, it could have swung in a better pattern more easily. That's our video. Thanks for watching.